That is a mod. That is a mod right there. Give me that mod. Give me that. Why would you hide that mod there and then not give it to me? Oh. Okay, fine. 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 Engineer Adams. I think he was on the first one today. Welcome back to the Normandy, or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. There's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, is that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back. I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you. I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You're Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new Drive Corps is three times bigger. This ship that said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would bend into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FPL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a BI to keep the likes of you from unplugging. Yeah, but I saw it through. You seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cloud sensors processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processing without giving myself a Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. All right. So we found uh, quite a few of our ships. We got Henry the Space Emptor back. I don't think there was any ships in here. We can't go in there yet. We will here shortly. Crew deck. Oh, everybody passed away. Ashley Williams, right there. Third left. Right from the top on the left, I should say. Looking, looking, looking. Just in case there's another ship somewhere nearby. Tomorrow's old stomping grounds. There. Thane's old stomping grounds. And the armory. 
which they removed. The Destiny Ascension. Kasumi's old stomping grounds. I kind of want one of these chairs. <laughs> Looks comfortable. This whole place talks with their hands. I like what she's done with the place. Miranda's old stomping grounds. It's now the office. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone you from the Shadow Glyph. Glyph. Yeah. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone. 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. It was less than ideal. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Becoming a big info broker turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. One E3, well. Wow. <laughs> Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Hey. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. What's been happening with you as the broker, Mayara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Theron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. 
We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? <laughs> Sending the broker ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escape? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. <laughs> what have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Please, enjoy your day. Thank you, Glyph. All right. The old Phoenix cannons. Garrus's calibrating room. Where he constantly quote unquote calibrates. Hello there, Commander. How are you settling in, Doctor? Good. I've been busy restocking supplies and running diagnostics. It's nice working alone in a fresh lab. I get to set up everything just the way I want. Anyway, now that you're here, I'd like to examine you. Do you have concerns about my health? You have an extensive number of cybernetic implants. I die. Cerberus spent a fortune bringing me back. I know. I just want to make sure everything checks out. It'll take no time. It doesn't hurt to be safe. It won't hurt, will it? No, no, nothing invasive. <laughs> I just need to run some implant diagnostics and take readings of your immune system. It looks like your implants have a synthetic protein overlay. That's allowed your body to integrate them quite nicely. Must be from the procedure I had done to help heal my scar. Must be. I bet that wasn't cheap. Thank you for indulging me. Everything looks fine. May I help you at all? Do we have enough medical supplies? Luckily, the med bay was one of the first areas the retrofit team stopped. That's fortunate. Who knows how long we'll have to be self-sufficient. How does working on a military vessel compare to your Citadel clinic? It's a completely different experience. I like that I have fewer patients under my care. I can really focus and get to know each person. But the workday never ends here. I don't get to go home. I'm always on call. But you're making a real difference. <laughs> so by being here, I'm making a difference too. Do you have any family? My parents are on Earth. Geneva. The news isn't good. I'm sorry. But my brother is safe on the Citadel. I count my blessings where I can. Just let me know if you need it. I will. Yeah. You're saying power bonuses. Oh, yeah. I can... Right, right, right. right. No ship here. It's interesting. I think that's it. One more time to the captain's cabin. Just to see what we got. Henry! 
He's so cute. Look at all those ships. It's everything we had on the last one. I like the different looks, but I think I like this one. Oh, that one's cool. I'll give you a monocle. Don't have fish yet, but I'll need a certain filter to do so. They took all my stuff away. And now that we're back with the Alliance, let's... It is my favorite look. And shield boost, regeneration, power damage, weapon damage. It's all good except for the melee. Reflection. Good. Okay. Sorry. It's the little things. All right. Is that it? I don't Commander? think I talked to Trying to check yet. on a new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny Mass Effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. <laughs> Was there anything else? I jammed up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. <laughs> I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh. Believe me, seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears hearing the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy. But imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. <laughs> Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. That's it. We've talked to everybody. We've explored everything. We found a whole bunch of ships. Now let's move on. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Now, both these are artifact, kite's nest. So already stuff to explore. I think we are here. No. 
seven. Okay. That is just a seven. 